Hello guys, welcome to everything more lately and welcome to day 53 of 100 days Sanit concepts. This video, actually the question which I am going to do in this video is one of the most, most awaited question. So, I think uh, some people may already guess it. So, let me put that here. Yeah, at least by looking at this image, people should have already guessed it. Yes, this question is from Gate 2020 and the question is that you have two different slip planes. So, these are slip planes and okay so you have two dislocations over here on the bottom slip plane okay at a distance of 2h okay as you can see h plus h and on the other slip plane the question is you have a dislocation which can glide through along the slip plane right so now we have got three positions one two and three and accordingly when the dislocation is actually gliding we have to calculate, okay, depending on the position, we have to say if the equilibrium is a stable or an unstable one. This is the question. That means when the dislocation is here, we want to know the type of equilibrium. When the dislocation is here, we want to know and finally when it is here, right. So, to know this, let's quickly uh, go to the concept of forces between the dislocation, right. So, again, I'm not going to draw all of those you know graphical stuff but you know one important thing you have to know is fx okay so of course uh, you know you can have two components fx and fy but why i am not considering fy here is because the force that we are actually you know bothered about is the one which is actually you know involved in gliding and here gliding in essence this is the direction of movement which is my fx right so fx will be equal to g b1 b2 divided by 2 pi into 1 minus mu into x into x square minus y square divided by x square plus y square whole square this is the formula so if one did not get what are these x and y x and y are nothing but the horizontal distance between the dislocations and y being the vertical that means let's say if i have one dislocation something like this and other like this so if you just draw you know, the distances okay at some point this will be my x and this will be my y right so this is the formula right and what is equilibrium Equilibrium is when fx is equal to 0. Okay, so fine. This is a condition when my system is in equilibrium. Correct? That means it is actually not moving. The dislocations are not moving at all. Right? So now again, we have got two different types of equilibrium. One is a stable equilibrium, the other is an unstable equilibrium. Right? So, before uh, discussing this, let's uh, revise some, you know, uh, important things. Again, I am considering everything that I am talking about for dislocations of same sign, okay. So, I have two dislocations, B1 and B2 with same sign. Again, in this question, we got B1 and B2 are same, which has B, right. So, these are of same sign. If opposite sign, then I should say if B1 is B, B2 will be minus B. Okay. So for same sign, okay, let's revise. Okay. If X is greater than Y, what happens? My force Fx will be greater than zero. Right. Similarly, if Fx less than Y, then fx will be less than 0. If you remember the graph which we have discussed last time? Remember this? This is what is the graph looks like for a same sign dislocation, right? So, we plotted the distance in terms of y, correct? So, x in terms of y. So, this is the position where x equal to y, 2y, and and that. If x is greater than y, we say fx is greater than 0. This is a repulsive force, okay. So, I hope you remember this positive force is repulsion, okay, and negative is attraction, correct. Similarly, let's take x less than 0, we are on the 
downside that means fx is less than 0 so it will be the left path of force okay this is for the same sign this location if we are talking about opposite sign the curve will be created something like this okay so but for uh, this video let's stick with our knowledge of same sign dislocation sign right now if you can see equilibrium means fx equal to 0 correct you know this so now this actually is taking place when x equal to 0 x equal to plus or minus 1 okay if you are also extrapolating to the other side and then x is equal to plus or minus infinity x on large spaces correct but now we only have two different types of equilibrium that are possible i strongly say that x equal to 0 and x equal to plus or minus infinity is a stable equilibrium in case of same sign dislocation okay so stable equilibrium okay when we are talking only about between two dislocations right so when x equal to 0 and plus or minus infinity we get a stable equilibrium similarly unstable equilibrium is at x equal to 1 or theta equal to 45 degrees okay remember i think you remember how we already made the distances in terms of tan theta if you are uh, if you want to revise it i'll uh, provide the you know prior video in the cards and the description so do check out and come to this video right so this is for same sign okay so let's consider x equal to 0 let's you know uh, take the infinity for now okay for you know explanation purpose so what actually this is meant so let's take the dislocation like this okay same sign at 45 degrees okay and also i want to explain with the help of opposite signs also okay in the same distance that means at 45 degrees 45 degrees so we know in both these cases fx equal to 0 but when if you are just coming towards this side that means into region of x less than y what is happening here the force is actually attracted that means it will try to come this way whereas if you just move towards here just x greater than y then what is happening the force is changing the force is actually repulsive now so it will go this side that means just by changing some small displacement let's say here Let's take uh, here and here. Okay. Then now this is for x less than one, and this is for x greater than one. And by taking the small disturbances in the position, what is happening? My force is actually in the opposite direction. This is actually called an unstable equilibrium. That means even with small change, it is actually deviating easily from the equilibrium position right whereas here let's come to the opposite sign okay to for explaining if uh i have this location like this, like this so this is x less than y this is x greater than y so in this case we know uh for opposite sign okay you can easily see okay this is the graph as we said right this is for opposite side so when x is less than y you have a repulsive force that means this is going towards the equilibrium position right because of the force it is moving towards the equilibrium position similarly if it is taken to the other side if you are considering x greater than y what is happening if x is greater than y it has an attractive force that means it is pulling towards my equilibrium position right attractive means obviously towards this dislocation repulsive means obviously away from this dislocation so you can carefully see that this is a stable equilibrium so why this is a stable equilibrium because even by shifting or deviating from the position by small distances it is actually trying to coming back to its equilibrium position Whereas here, in the same sign, dislocation at 45 degrees, it is actually trying to, you know, 
not come at the equilibrium position at all just by changing small changes in the displacement i hope uh, this explanation gave you an easy understanding of what is stable and what is unstable equilibrium right and one of the most stable equilibrium for say sign is this when it's equal to zero and this is actually you know an arrangement an array of its dislocations that you find at low angle till the green boundary okay so this is actually one of the important you know uh, description of how you can explain about green boundaries right so this is one of the most stable Right. This is for the same sign dislocations when x equal to zero. A vertical array of dislocations are formed. Right. Now let's come back to our question. Okay. So now carefully <coughs> look at the question. So here we have got three important positions. So let's bring this question to the last page. Yeah, perfect. So let me zoom in. Okay, cool. So let me take this out. Yeah. So now we have got three positions, right? So the first one is here, the second is here, and the third is here. So now we can easily see, right? All are same sign. So this is the bottom plane dislocations. And here the stress fields of both the dislocations will interact. So that means even you can see there is an interaction between these two that means there is a force between these two dislocations and there is a force between these two dislocations so you have to consider interaction between both these cases right so now let's see what happens at this position that means at position one okay and let me name some a and b over here okay so in order to Spell it easy. Okay, so dislocations A and B are on the bottom slope plane, and one, two, three are on the top plane. Okay, so now between one and A, if you see the slip planes, okay, interplanar spacing is H, and this is also H, right? So that means this angle is how much? 45 degrees. Just now we saw same sign, 45 degrees. This is an unstable equilibrium. Okay, unstable equilibrium. Similarly, this also, right? Even this is 45 degrees. Of course, it is on the negative side. That means minus y, right? So if you take x to be you know, h, sorry, uh, y to be h, x will be minus h. That's it. Only the direction will be the changing, but it is an unstable equilibrium because of the angle 45 degrees, right? Because it actually moves apart. When you consider so position one, it is an unstable equilibrium. Got it now. Let's come to position two. So, this is our consideration of this one. So, now carefully see, just know I said what is a stable equilibrium interaction between these two. So, interaction between number two and B dislocation, they are most stable configuration. Why? Because x equal to zero. But this is not the final, you know, net force that is actually acting on the second dislocation or second position. Why? Because you also have this guy over here, A, right? So there will be an interaction between these two also, correct? So here, actually, what is happening it is, you know, uh, let's say this is 2H and this is H. Obviously, that will not change. So theta is less than 45 degrees, right? Until here, okay, let's say uh, until it is coming to here, you have only repulsion because it is same sign, right? Again, we know that this is my stable, it's fine. But because of this guy, it is always pulling towards the other side. That means it is actually you know, because of this repulsion, it is not allowing this stable equilibrium to stay here. Because of this repulsive force on the second dislocation or second position. Right. So, even this 
is an unstable position. Why? I hope you understood why this is unstable. This is unstable because this guy is directly ruled out because it's an stable position. But there is an interaction between number 2 and A. So, it always has a repulsive position even here or here. So, it will always try to push away from this equilibrium position too. Right. So, this is actually an unstable position. Similarly, number 3. So, you can clearly say number 3, right? So, this is again 45 degrees. So, it is an unstable equilibrium and of course, we have some force, again repulsive force. So, both are actually trying to pull away and something like this. So, this is because of B and this is because of A. So, again, this is an unstable position because, see, what is unstable? Even if force is zero, it actually don't want to stay at that position, okay? Because of some other forces acting on it, the net force is actually not allowing it to stay at these number two, number three positions for a long time. Even number one because it's an unstable position. Right. So, this is the way to go about and solve this particular question. So, it's not that easy concept. I know it. And, uh, yeah, this is one of the most, most requested questions from many of you guys. So, I hope this made this concept clear. So, yeah, that's it from my side, guys. Thanks for watching. Do visit our website, everythingnumbers.com and check out our test series and videos. Definitely, we also kept running with the crash course with many requests so do check out our website thank you guys thanks for supporting this do watch all the videos this is 53rd videos in the series and i hope this is helping everyone each and every gate technology aspirant so we are very much pleased to you know do this and help you guys so do send us some more requests right so we are actually getting more requests from many people but you know the problem is uh, these are just dispersed on various platforms. Definitely, we are active, but try to be active on Instagram because we are actually, you know, taking more requests from Instagram. So do check out. And yeah, that's it. Uh, we are actually planning to do something on our Telegram also. We'll uh, let you know full details in the first, uh, you know, videos whenever we are coming out. So, so that's it, guys. That's it for this video. Thank you. Thanks for watching. We'll meet you tomorrow with one more interesting video. Thank you.